Finding Strike and Dip on a Geologic Map Using a Protractor The map being used for this exercise is from the Geological Survey of Alabama. It is the Hollywood 7.5 Minute Quadrangle, Quadrangle Series Map 52. This map, and others like it, are available for free download as a PDF from the above website. For this exercise, we will be using a circular protractor and an index card to help align the protractor. Three areas of the map will be used for this exercise. They are labeled A, B, and C on the picture. The Sequatchie Fault is located in the northwest area of the map. This earthquake fault has not recently been active. In this area of the map, you will see many strike and dip symbols. Most of these have a dip towards the north or northwest. A few symbols along the fault indicate the layers of rock have completely turned over. We are going to find the strike for two symbols in this area. The dip for each is already indicated on the map. The first symbol on the map has a long line with a shorter line perpendicular to it. The long line indicates the strike direction, which is towards the northeast. The short line indicates the dip. Because the short line is centered over the long line, this symbol means that the rocks are at a 90 degree dip or vertical. Let's find the strike. To get started, lay a note card or piece of paper along the strike line. Place the edge directly on the long strike line. Then center the protractor over the symbol. The crossed lines on the protractor should lay over the intersection of the dip line with the strike line. When the protractor is placed over the symbol, the zero north on the protractor must squarely face the top of the map. If it is not properly aligned, your readings will not be correct. Reading where the side of the note card crosses the degrees, we can see that this strike line is 40 degrees from north. This can also be written as north 40 east or northeast 40. The next strike and dip we will measure is circled on the photo. This strike appears to be trending east southeast to west northwest. Just like for the previous location, we are going to lay a note card or piece of paper along the strike symbol. This creates a larger line to measure. This is very helpful when the symbols are small and difficult to read. Center the protractor over the strike and dip symbol. The crossed lines on the protractor should lay over the intersection of the dip line with the strike line. The zero and N must be pointing to the top of the map, north. The east-west line on the protractor should be parallel to the top edge of the map. The measurement can then be read two ways, 100 degrees east-southeast or 280 degrees west-northwest. What about the dip? The dip direction is also shown on the symbol. The small perpendicular line intersecting the strike line tells us the dip direction, in this case towards the north. The amount of dip is written on the map, 16. This means the rock is angling into the earth at 16 degrees from horizontal. What is the dip direction? The dip direction is always exactly 90 degrees from the strike direction. Since the strike is 100 degrees east-southeast and the dip is towards the north, we would subtract 90 degrees from 100. This would give us 10 degrees. The dip direction is north 10 degrees. For the next location, we are going to measure a strike symbol close to the river. Note that all of the dips in this area are towards the south to southeast, the opposite from the previous area. Align the side of the note card or piece of paper with the strike line. Lay the protractor on top of the strike line so north is aligned with the top of the map. 
This can be verified with a compass if the map has been turned to face north. The reading for this strike line is 30 degrees from the north or north 30 degrees. Be sure to check with your teacher or your supervisor to determine how they want you to write down the degrees as there are slightly different ways to write these down. What is the dip amount and direction for this location? The dip amount is 8 degrees angling into the earth. The dip direction is to the southeast. So we would add 90 degrees to the strike reading. 30 plus 90 equals 120 degrees to the southeast. The last location near Georgetown is an easy one. You can see two cross lines inside of circles on the map. These indicate the rock layers are horizontal. This means there is no strike and zero dip. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please consider subscribing to Uncovering Earth.